turn our attention to somebody who may have had one of the best summers ever. Allie Raisman took home a gold and two silvers from Rio. And since then, she has been everywhere, hanging with LeBron, uh, Aaron Rodgers, John Legend, throwing out first pitches, appearing on the VMAs, Lip Sync Battle, which is my show. Love that show, so I'm super jealous. The Tonight Show, but of course, we know her career isn't complete, or her summer, eh, I guess it's fall now, technically. I know this is the highlight, being here on His and Hers. Just lie to my face <laughs> and go with it. She's no, like, no, it is. Thank you so like, much for having me. Thank up. you for being here. And that was that was good. See, you smile, you perform. <laughs> now I see why, it's, why you're so good at what you do. But as I mentioned, it's been such a crazy experience for you. Um, excellent Olympics, obviously. What's been the most surreal part of this entire journey for you this summer? I mean, it's hard to put into words, but, it, you know, I think... When I first came back, um, it felt so far away, the Olympics, and making the second Olympic team almost seemed impossible for me mm -hmm. because it was just so hard to get back to where I was. So I just can't believe that I actually did it. And I think I surpassed my expectations. So it was just, I think getting the all-around medal is really, you know, something that I didn't really believe that I could actually do it. So it was just, it still doesn't feel real. Mm. Um, well, I mean, look, I, I'm not nearly on the level of fame <laughs> that you are, uh, but I know that sometimes, uh, you know, when you do, when you're on a platform that you're on, that you're always amazed and surprised by who's a fan of you, mm -hmm. right? And one of the people who's a big fan of yours, uh, Raiders tight end, Colton Underwood. Because <laughs> didn't he approach you about a date or put it out there about a date? Did you guys actually wind up going on this date? Uh, well, I mean, actually, everyone's been asking me about that, but I like to keep my personal life private, but the video was very sweet. <laughs> it, the intention was it actually wasn't supposed to go viral. It was kind of one of those things that I think it just got, like, it, I couldn't believe it was everywhere. Like, everyone's been asking <laughs> about it, but um, we, I like to keep my personal life private, so... Look at that. Yeah. Way, way, to, way to give me a yeah. good stiff arm and, and <laughs> That's do it what very eloquently. answer to everyone. Okay, I got you. We'll stay out of your business okay. for now. Um, but you grew up in Massachusetts, correct? Yes. You're also a big Patriots mm -hmm. fan. Uh, what advice did Tom Brady give you um, prior to making the Olympic team? Well, I saw him, I think, about almost like a year and a half before the Olympics. So, um, you know, he just said, you know, we were kind of laughing and joking about how we're both considered old for our sports. <laughs> so it was just kind of interesting, you know. Um, you know, I'm, I was 21 at the time. I'm not exactly sure how old he was, but it was just interesting. He was amazed that at 21 years old, I was considered old for gymnastics. So we were kind of talking about that. But, I mean, he's really, really nice, very sweet, um, and obviously wishing him the best this season. Yeah, uh, it is crazy that in your sport that you're considered uh, to be old, yes. as you said, but you're in your prime. So does that mean 2020, you're back? Yes, that's the goal right now. I'm definitely okay. going to take a break. Um, you know, I haven't really had much time to even relax yet. We're on tour right now. We're actually performing at the Staples Center tomorrow. So I've been traveling like crazy. I slept on a tour bus last night. So it's oh, kind of no. living the rock star life. So it's been fun. But um, after this, definitely going to take a couple of months to relax, um, spend the summer in the Cape with my family, and then um, come back to training at the end of the summer. All right. Speaking of your family, your parents have become a bit of an internet <laughs> sensation um, for how nervous they get during your competition so who gets more nervous you or them <laughs> oh, well I think I mean I get really nervous the months leading up to it but I think in the moment they're more nervous than me um, because me, your mom looked in agony yes she looked like she's gonna throw up <laughs> yeah. I, they're very very happy that it's that it's over and you know just because they know how hard that I work and they know how much uh, goes into it but you know I think just like any parent all parents can relate because you just want your kid to do well you love them so much you see how much they work hard for it but in the moment for me it's more like I spend so much time worrying that in the moment I'm like I just have to give it my all and do my best to enjoy the experience I've worked so hard that I deserve to have a good competition yeah um, one of your teammates uh, was speaking about enjoying the experience didn't seem to necessarily enjoy her Olympic experience, and that's Gabby Douglas. She took a lot of heat on social media for God knows why. Uh, this seemed to be very nonsensical, but you guys really rallied around her. Mm -hmm. um, what made you guys decide to kind of come together and, and provide such support for her as she was going through all this? Well, I think, you know, in in any sport, you know, in order to be successful in the team competition, you have to be a team from start to finish. And, you know, I, I think it's not fair because I think, you know, a lot of times even for me, if I'm really focused and I look serious and I don't look like I'm happy, people say that I'm, that I, you know, people could say you look mean. So I think it's just, 
people are always going to say stuff, but we just told her we were so proud of her, just like everyone in America is. You have to think about all the positive feedback. And, you know, there's so many little girls that their face just lights up when they see her. They're so excited. I mean, they, they love Gabby. When we're on tour, like, they scream so loud when they announce her name. So we just tell her to focus on that. There's so many little girls that look up to her, and that's such a special and rare thing to have, you know, to have so many little girls look up to you. So I think it's really incredible. And, you know, she did an incredible job. She did her job in the team final. She did an amazing job. We wouldn't mm -hmm. have been able to win without her. Now, here's what I've always wondered. I mean, you guys are in an awkward position because you have your own individual mm -hmm. goals, but yet you're part of a team. Yeah. So how do you balance, you know, wanting to be a good teammate with also wanting, you know, to be mm -hmm. kind of individually selfish? Well, it was... You know, for me, when I was competing, I, you know, I don't even consider myself competing against Simone just because she's so good. I know, you know, I think we all knew that we can't beat her. So it was that in the all-around competition, it was like we both were just trying to do our absolute best. I knew, you know, her best was the gold medal, and then mine was the silver. So for me, it felt like silver was the gold medal for me, and it was so nice what she said. She said she was more excited and proud for me getting the silver than she was for the gold because I think for herself, she just knew, you know, even if she fell, she could have won the gold gold medal so for me it was like I had to do a good competition and I had tried so many times to get it and every time at it you know I had a little mistake here and there but that will sometimes throw you off the podium so you know we make it work and we know at the end of the day it's just gymnastics there's so many other things going on in the world we're so fortunate we're so lucky to be able to do the sport that we love to do so we just think about it like that and just to do our best to enjoy the experience well Everybody watching at home, we certainly enjoyed watching you, uh, young ladies. So Thank good you. luck with everything. Thank you so much. Can't wait to see you all when you uh, come to our neck of the woods, which is... Yes. Uh, Hartford, Connecticut. So thank you thank and you so enjoy much. the rest of the fall. Take some time off. You certainly thank deserve you. it. So we're going to go from one gold medalist to another one. Uh, next up, I'll talk to the fastest human being on the planet. Oh, Earth, Usain Bolt. Look, no disrespect to Michael Phelps, but for me, the story of the Olympics was Usain Bolt. He completed his triple-triple, went in the 100, the 200, and of course, the 4 by 100 meter relay for the third straight Olympics. Gave us one of the more memeable photos of all time in internet history, and now the nine-time gold medalist joins us right now here on His and Her. Usain, thank you uh, for joining us. Um, I think you already know that you're a big deal, and I don't know if this got back to you, but Bob Costas thinks you are such a big deal that you've outdistanced Bob Marley. Bob Marley, what did you think about him saying that? For me, uh, it, it, it's always big to even be mentioned in the same uh, sentence as, as Bob Marley. So for anybody to say I've, I'm surprised Bob Marley is, is just, <laughs> it's just massive, you know what I mean? Because uh, I yeah. grew up listening to Bob Marley, you know what I mean? Yeah, and, and I'm certainly not trying to slight you at all, yeah. but you do know you're not bigger than Bob Marley, right? <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Uh, all right, but one thing for me that's not up for debate, but it's nevertheless become the debate about whether or not you're considered the greatest Olympian ever. Do you consider yourself the greatest Olympian of all time? For me, I've, 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 I've put in a, a good application, I must say. <laughs> you know what I mean? I've worked hard. To be one of the best, uh, not only in track and field, but just overall. So, in every sport, so I've, I've worked all my life to be one of the best, and I'm proud that I just accomplished what I worked, I set out to, to accomplish. So I'm, I'm really just proud of myself. Well, what isn't up for debate is the fact that you are the fastest man in the world. So, what's it like to walk around day in and day out carrying that label of being the fastest man in the world? For me, it's, it's great. It's a great feeling. Uh, at the start, uh, I, I loved it, and now uh, I'm really enjoying it because I can see my friends or anybody, and one thing I can say, listen, I'm fascinating. Do you know that? <laughs> so <laughs> I make fun of my friends all the time about that, uh, and it's always just been great. Yeah, do your friends, do they try to race you? I know you raced some people at ESPN years ago, but do your <laughs> friends, do they try to, like, talk trash like nah. they can actually beat you no nah, nah. my friends don't do that but everybody else on the streets that i see <laughs> always trying to race me that's one of the biggest questions i always get like you want to race let's go like kids especially kids they always feel like they're faster than me so it's always just fun and games it's always just a, a great feeling now do you show them up do you say okay so since you asked let me just embarrass you right quick no, sometimes. Depends on how old the kid is. If it's a young kid, then okay. I'll, I'll, I'll let him win. But if it's the older kid, I was like, nah, I got to let you know. It's, it's no game. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, 
It depends. So you're you're not out here trying to raise city grown folks. I got you. Mm -hmm. um, now look, as I mentioned before, Bob Costas he compared you <laughs> or said you were bigger than Bob yeah. Marley. But nevertheless, whenever I see footage of you going back to Jamaica, um, the people I know you don't buy a drink there. I know you don't have to ask <laughs> to get any club there. So how crazy is it for you when you go back home? For me, it's always been it's always great. When I when I go home after a big championship, it's just. Always a great feeling because the amount of love I get from my, my people there is just magnificent. Most of the times I try to stay in as much when I just go back home because I know everywhere I go I'm going to just get a lot of love. Everybody wants to take a picture, everybody just want to touch you, have a conversation, you know what I mean? So I, I definitely try to stay in as much as possible, but it's just always just overwhelming and I really love that they give me so much love and respect. Speaking of your people, uh, I heard, or rather I watched, your mom talk about how she's ready for you to settle down. Um, yeah. I look, I, you know, I read tabloids. I, I see that you, you had a fun <laughs> summer. But nevertheless, uh, is the fastest man in the world, are you really, really ready to kind of slow down in your social life? I think, I think um, I'm, I'm just getting serious with my girlfriend. I, I think uh, we're, 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 we're definitely at that point where we, I'm getting serious. Uh, but... For me, I, I never try to rush into anything. I take my time, and my parents were together for a long time before they got married, so uh, I know that I have time. If we were meant to be, then it will be, so I'm just taking my time, but I always try to enjoy life as much as possible. All right, so are you ready to have kids and all that? Because your mom seemed like she was yeah, waiting she, for some grandchildren. Yeah, she's pressuring me on this grandkids thing, so I think that will happen soon. <laughs> it's because she keeps pressuring me. <laughs> Every day she keeps asking me. <laughs> All right, well, she probably won't stop until you, obviously, until you have one. I think um, so. I, <laughs> I'm sure you're aware by now that your smiling photo uh, became, you know, it, it basically crashed the internet. Yeah. <laughs> How often do you look at that smiling photo and smile? <laughs> I see, I see it a lot. I get tagged in all of them, all different type of memes. So for me, it it, it was it was an amazing time. It, and it wasn't even on purpose, you know what I mean? <laughs> so for it to happen, it was just. Magnificent! They just caught a good picture, and it, it was all fun. You know what I mean? It was it, it was a brilliant one. Do you even remember what you might have been thinking in that moment? It, I was actually when I was running. I remember before I went out, that my agent said, "Listen to me. Remember that Degrassi is in your race, and he he runs just like you. So at the end, he's gonna be coming." And I remember running. I got to about 70. So I was looking to my right, and then it popped into my head like, "Yo, remember Degrassi?" So I looked around, and I saw him. I was like, "All right, I'm good," and I smiled. And the guy just got the picture at the right time, and then it just went out. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's all. Yeah. Well, uh, before I get you out of here, uh, I'm sure you've also heard about many people, uh, especially in the States, sort of wondering what you would be like on an NFL football field. Yeah. Um, you got any interest in, in maybe picking up some pads? No. Nah, uh, no, nah, <laughs> definitely not. I think, I think it's a contact sport. And I'm not really a fan of contact sport, so <laughs> uh, I'll just stay on the sideline and watch. But uh, I really enjoy watching the sport, though. Look, if they send you on the go route the whole time, that's like, what you they have keep to saying. That's no, what they keep saying, yo, I'm the go saying. route, just catch it. <laughs> Just catch it. That's it. Like, you tell you what, you won't get hit if no one can catch you. That's kind exactly. of the way it that's works. What, that's what they keep saying to me. Like, yo, if you catch, then you go. You have no problems. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. Well, look, you saying continue uh, to enjoy uh, yourself on Bristol's campus and, of course, enjoy your time off, I assume. Oh, and, sure, uh, sure. you know, uh, I'm sure your, your girlfriend will be happy to have you <laughs> to herself for now. Uh, thank you very um, much. All right.